Good afternoon, You Can Heal family. We are reading our Jesus Calling devotional together today. My name is Sheena, and I'm so glad that you chose to join me here. We are on September 7th, and it's talking about enjoying the warmth of my presence. Enjoy the warmth of my presence shining upon you. Feel your face tingle as you bask in my love light. I delight in you more than you can imagine. I approve of you continuously, for I see you cloaked in my light, arrayed in my righteousness. There is no condemnation for those who are clothed in me. That is why I abhor the use of guilt as a means of motivation among Christians. Some pastors try to whip their people into action with guilt-inducing sermons. This procedure can drive many people to work harder, but the end does not justify the means. Guilt-evoking messages can undermine the very foundation of grace in a believer's heart. A pastor may feel successful when his people are doing more, but I look at their hearts. I grieve when I see grace eroding with weeds of anxious works creeping in. I want you to relax in the assurance of my perfect love. The law of my spirit of life has freed you from the law of sin and death. And this is so good. We're in a time of grace now and we're not under the law. Never felt guilted into doing anything, you know, and it's not so much, you know, doing, doing, doing. And like this devotional said, God is looking at our heart. Where's our heart in all this doing, you know? Do you feel like you do things because you have to do it? Or because you get to, and there's a big difference there. So let's look at Isaiah 61 10. And it says, I am overwhelmed with joy in the Lord my God, for he has dressed me with the clothing of salvation and draped me in a robe of righteousness. I am like a bridegroom in his wedding suit or a bride with her jewels. Yeah, and I think we've read this one before. We're draped in a robe of righteousness. So everything. Um, that God is, is draped over you, right? He's good. You know, he's never going to coax you or guilt you or trick you into doing anything. That's not who God is. The next scripture is Romans 8, verses 1 and 2. So let's turn there. I feel like we've read this one before. It's pretty familiar. Romans 8, verses 1 and 2. So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. For the power of the life-giving Spirit has freed you through Christ Jesus from the power of sin that leads to death. Oh, God, that's good. If you are in Christ, then you don't have to feel condemned about anything. You might feel a little convicted you know, if you do or say something that isn't pleasing to God, but never condemn. It's it's because um, of him going to the cross and dying, you know, that he took on that sin, became sin for us. So we don't have to feel condemned. Don't ever feel condemned. Don't feel condemned today. God is um, here to um, show you things right, that you might need to work on and change, but he'll convict you. He won't condemn you. That's the enemy is doing, okay? So that's our Jesus Calling for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Like the video and hit your notifications so you can uh, continue on with me throughout the rest of this year, reading our, having our devotional time together, rather. Always remember that true healing begins with self-love. Why? Because God is love and he lives on the inside of you. Bye.